I am back, Rich Robin, with another great video of a Stinger Mobile that just rolled out of our shop, guys. This is a quarter inch thick, 20 inch diameter, brand new pipe by five foot two door main chamber. We've got our custom Gator Pit gauges that are recalibratable. If you seem to knock them out of whack for some reason or another, or think they're out of whack, you can recalibrate these gauges. All of my gauges are recalibratable, by the way. You have stainless steel cool touch handles. We do have a locking mechanism that locks these doors and secures them so that you can safely tow this vehicle down the road, not worry about your doors bouncing up and down and slamming. Not that they'd ever open up because they're heavy, but you hit a big old pothole and it could slam. It's not gonna happen as long as you put the locking mechanism here and you do get that standard. You got an all steel front shelf, one inch angle frame, expanded metal or mesh, all the way down. Notice it comes all the way down to the front of the firebox. Guys, you can use this area right here when that firebox is hot. You can use this area to keep foods or foil pans or wrapped meat warm. You're going to get heat radiant off that pipe, right? Why not use that, that radiant heat and warm foods up? Keep foods warm. Beans up there. Foil pan of water for hot water. Whatever you want to use up here and you can adjust how hot it gets by pushing it back for hotter and putting it forward to get it cooler. Pretty cool feature there that you get on this Stinger Mobile. You'll see that same feature on a lot of my custom backyard pits. Okay, we do that because you've got heat coming off that box. We figured we might as well use it for something, right? Preheat your wood up there if you want to before you put it in the firebox. Back to the main chamber. Gator pits fully welded, flanges on all four sides of the door and they are nice and tight. There's no gaps, no leak, no gaps. Getting inside, stainless steel cool touch handles on all of the doors inside the Stinger Mobile. We have lower sliding food trays and upper sliding food trays, and they are framed out in three quarter inch angle. They're heavy, beefy, sturdy, strong, and they're removable, as you just saw. Here's the bottom, and they are interchangeable. Left fits right, right fits left. Very nice. Easy access your meat in the back. You don't have to reach up under the top grate to try to get into the inside back wall of your food grate. You pull everything to you, you baste it, you take it off, you put it on, you do whatever it is you want to do to it right here, standing in front of the pit, accessing the meat as opposed to reaching back into it. Not so simple to do when you have a top food rack. If this was removed, relatively easy, right? But most people are gonna fill the pit up, which means there's meat up here. Don't wanna lose that cooking capacity. Same thing on the right side or the rear of the cooker. Inside this cooker, there is a full-size quarter-inch thick heat deflector. It cuts the hot spot down, forces the heat further down before it has a chance to rise to minimize or cut down that typical hot spot on an offset smoker, okay? So now you can put food over here and not worry about burning your meat because it's just a big old ball of fire or uh, 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 hot air coming in at one time bombarding that piece of meat on that side right there. You can now put meat over there and not worry about it burning, all right? That deflector is standard on all of my pits, by the way. I don't care what pit you get, that deflector shield is standard on all of them. You can often get the tuning plates, Gator Pits tuning plates. You do that, and now you turn this cooker into a convection oven, and you're running an even temperature all the way down this five-foot chamber, all right, all the way down, an even temperature, so then you're not fighting a hot and cold spot as often. But that deflector plate in there does minimize that hot spot, okay, that offsets are known for. You've got the flanging inside, flanging on the outside I mentioned earlier. You've got uh, back to the trailer frame two inch by two inch, quarter inch thick square tubing. And guess what? It's reinforced with more square tubing. Okay, it is heavy and beefy. It's got a solid plate front deck. It does not have an expanded metal deck, mesh deck, or an open frame deck. We put expanded metal up there for two reasons. One, gives you an area to store ice chest or other, other gear up here, but it also helps minimize road grime flying up from your vehicle into your pit, okay, when you have that solid plate up there. All right, it pushes everything up underneath the trailer. We've got safety chains with hangers here. 
and you're not using them, you got somewhere to put them as opposed to dragging them on the ground or wrapping them around your jack or your coupler, okay? We've got steel fenders, full-size 205, 75 trailer rated tires, full-size 15 inch wheels, white spokes. Uh, we've got five lugs. We've got a 3,500 pound Dexter axle. Dexter axles, axles are made here in the USA. We have springs for a smooth tow on this trailer, okay? You're gonna be able to go at highway speeds down the highway, towing behind your vehicle at 70, 75 miles an hour and not have to worry about this trailer bouncing, crazy bouncing or swaying back and forth. It's not gonna happen on my trailers. We build and we design our own trailers and I design them based on what we're putting on them. And I've been building this particular model for 20 something years, guys, it hasn't changed. It just got better in the quality of the construction over the years, but the overall design has not changed because you don't try to fix what isn't broke. It's proven. Backside, you have got a full storage area back there that's angle framed expanded metal uh, it goes about 30 inches deep towards the passenger, passenger wheel and it comes up about 16 to 18 inches in height. I'll walk the camera around you and show you that here in a minute. We'll do a full 360 here in a minute. You have a grease strain, a two inch grease strain with a threaded removable cap. You can opt and add the two inch ball valve. If you're getting a trailer pit or any pit for that matter, but especially a trailer pit, get the ball valve because it's going to be so much easier for you to get up under there and open and close that ball valve than it is jacking around with a threaded cap that you're probably going to misplace and lose anyway. Get the ball valve. You can hang the can on the ball valve, your grease can to catch your grease drippings, but you're going to have to put something down there anyway. And if you don't have the ball valve, then you got to put it on the ground. And if it's real windy outside, guess what? Whatever you put down there is more likely going to fly away because most people put like foil pans down there and foil pans just, they don't have any weight to them so they're going to fly away. Put the ball valve down there hang the grease can on the ball valve, and I don't care what the wind is, the can isn't blowing away on you. What else we got? We got gator badging on the door, on the stack, and birdhouse stack. Now this stinger comes standard with a flat top stack, our standard flat top stack with a handle here to open and close. This customer's, in fact, his only option he added to this pit was the birdhouse stack. Everything you see is standard, okay? This comes for the price on my website for the Stinger, Stinger Mobile at GatorPit.net. And this is on my website. Light harness, four prong, standard light kit attached to the fenders, license plate light and a license plate hanger. All of my trailers are gonna come with the manufacturer's certificate of origin. I am a licensed or Texas licensed trailer manufacturer slash dealer okay i am licensed by the state of texas to make and sell trailers a lot of guys don't have that out there when you get this trailer or a trailer from gator pit it's going to come with temporary tags on it that are good for 60 days just like when you buy a vehicle a truck a car a motorcycle you're going to get temporary tags they call it paper tags the paperwork we give you for your trailer you will then take down to your local dmv and then you will permanently transfer that temporary registration into your name permanently and get your metal plates. And that can vary from state to state depending on the state's requirements. Like Oklahoma, I don't believe requires this trailer to be licensed, but laws change, so don't hold me to it. But in Texas, you gotta have this thing licensed for the highway. Any other state that's gonna require licensing for the highway, you will not have problems getting this gator pit licensed in your state or county. What else do we have? I guess that's it guys. It's a nice small, I say small, it's, it's, it's bigger than most people's pits for, the, for, that, for that matter, but it's a, it's a very convenient pit to operate. It's easy to fire up, it's easy to maintain, and it's easy for one person to disconnect and move it around. I moved it from my shop to here, which is about 30, 30 yards, all right? It's very easy to maneuver this off of the vehicle, off the tow vehicle, as you see me doing right there. And I'm even turning it, okay? Uh, let's do a 360 with the camera and I'll walk y'all around it, show you the backside.
Let's get some up close shots here real quick. There's your birdhouse, your front deck, safety chain hangers. You can see the quality construction there. Very nice. Now you can see the lights. Your firebox. Let me open that up and show you that firebox real quick. Heavy duty angle frame fire grate. That's heavy guys. Reinforced. Like you see in one of the videos, we reinforce them so they don't burn out as quick in the middle. That's your weak spot, right? You reinforce it and therefore, therefore it will make it last longer. And you can hear how solid that was. Flange firebox door, stainless steel handle, dial style air intake vent, open and close. Gator pits hinges. See the back side there? Show you that storage area. It's a big storage area, guys. You can throw easy ups in there and chairs and folding tables without a doubt. And it'll hold more wood or enough wood that you can cook for several days, guys, several days. There's your wheels. Those full size 205 75s, trailer rated. That 3,500 pound Dexter axle springs. And you can see the reinforcement of the trailer frame there, those two bars there. There's another one up here. And then there's the fourth one that runs in the front there. Gussets, see those gussets? That's your stress point or your weak point of a trailer, of any trailer. We strap it with quarter inch to, uh, uh, gussets or straps. Well, it's solid. You don't have to worry about stress fractures on my trailers. They can handle the highway, they can handle off-road, guys. Two-inch coupler and your jack. Again, beautiful, beautiful, easy to operate and tow trailer for personal use, take it to the games for tailgating, take it to the park, take it to the hunt and lease, beach, church, grandma's house, cook some Q, make everybody happy. All right, Stinger Mobile, Stinger Mobile, on our website at GatorPit.net. My, in, my uh, uh, phone number is 713-896-0144. My email is info, I-N-F-O, at GatorPit.net. Call, ask for me, Rich Robin. I'm the owner and founder of Gator Pit. Going on some 27 years in business with Gator Pit. Been doing this a long time. I'm not trying to figure out how to build pits. I've been there and done that. I know how to build pits. I have other models on my website as well as you can look at. Uh, give me a call. Talk to me about the avail availability of this. Uh, if we don't have it in stock, I can tell you how long it's going to take you to get you one. Um, give me a call, guys. I, I'm, I'm not going to ramble anymore. I'm done. GatorPit.net. 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 GatorPit. 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 All right. Google me. You'll see all kinds of talk about GatorPit around the globe, around the world. Yes, we ship worldwide. I got customers everywhere. Everywhere. I'm not just local here in Houston, Texas. I have clients everywhere around the country and around the globe. We have shipped to Hong Kong, Australia, Thailand, Russia, Netherlands, Finland, the UK. Uh, did I say Russia? We shipped to Russia, Moscow actually, in Russia. We shipped uh, Canada, Mexico, Philippines, uh, guys, Korea, South Korea. I've shipped everywhere, Australia if I haven't named that one. I've shipped, I even shipped a pit to the Indian Ocean, man, I'm not kidding you. The Indian Ocean, I went to an aircraft carrier out in the Indian Ocean. I have pits, gator pits everywhere. I've got them on about 15 or 20 drilling rigs out in the ocean, all right? We built all those for Pride International and then Ensco. They put them on every one of their drilling ships that comes out of the South Korean shipyard. Guys, I have gator pits everywhere. In restaurants across the country and in restaurants in South Korea, uh, Busan, uh, South Korea, and in Seoul, South Korea. You'll Google me, you'll find those restaurants. Anyway, Rich Robin, see ya.